I know you already did this on some other videos, but the, the there's no way in hell they're going to get the last name correct. No. Uh, <laughs> Showtime. Tell people again. It's N A G Y. Yeah. Nudge. Okay. That's so the, it's Eastern European, Hungarian. It's Hungarian. It's a Hungarian name. All right. Nudge. All right. We'll get a win, and then then they'll then we know they'll get it right. <laughs> All right. Well. Your background's interesting. Um, we were talking before the interview. You know, anyone who watches the uh, the Cage Writer blog, I make a uh, reference to my home state, New Jersey. And as it turns out, you're wearing a Rutgers hat. I'm like, oh, what's the deal with the hat? You grew up, like, uh, right there near the State University in East Brunswick. Mm -hmm. You wind up eventually moving to uh, the Phoenix area. But ago. but your, your only, um, you know, athletic background was football before getting into fighting. That's correct. Uh, only I only played football in high school, and uh, after high school, I just stayed active. Was always in the gym room, or anything like that. But uh, no, uh, no wrestling experience. Nothing in high school. Nothing collegiate. All right. Did you when when they booked the fight, they call you. You're, were you like, uh, you know, why not uh, Terrell Davis or uh, you know another running back? I'm kidding, of course. But <laughs> but that that is a bizarre twist. That uh, your background's in football, you get into fighting, and all of a sudden you get a call to fight Herschel Walker. So what was your reaction? Uh, it was a little bit surreal. I was very shocked that I was getting uh, offered the opportunity. I'm just very thankful for uh, for Showtime and uh, for everyone that helped set this up. So uh, I'm ready for the fight. You know, I have the utmost confidence in my trainers at Rage in the Cage. Do you have any idea how they tracked you down? Uh, from my knowledge, uh, Bob Cook is good friends with uh, Roland Surya, who's uh, the, the head guy over there at Rage in the Cage. So they kind of just threw my name into a hat, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so I got lucky, I guess. <laughs> What's the uh, what's the biggest crowd you fought in front of? Probably a couple hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Not, 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 nothing too big, but I you know I've had uh, two cage fights and uh, and a Muay Thai fight in Arizona of a couple hundred, maybe, you know maybe eight hundred at something at the most. I really don't even know. All right. Now when you fight in front of whatever five or eight hundred, do you notice the crowd, or are you just so zoned in you don't even notice it? When the actual fight's going on, there's uh, you don't notice anything. It's 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 that tunnel vision that you hear a lot of athletes talk about. All you see is the guy in front of you. Uh, you might hear a couple things outside, but the only thing I really hear are my coaches. But um, there could be a jet landing behind you. You wouldn't notice it. You can't predict this, but if you have tunnel vision in front of 800, can you have tunnel vision in front of eight to 10,000 and also block out the fact that there might be you know three to 500,000 watching on TV? Uh, I think when you when you get into the cage, it's it's a completely different uh, game. So I think uh, no matter who you are, you know, if you know what you're getting yourself into, you kind of have to block it out. You don't even think about it; it just comes naturally. Because if you don't, you're going to get hurt in there. Yeah. Was there any hesitation taking the fight no. against a guy like Herschel Walker? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, uh, like I said, uh, Herschel's a great athlete, but I'm, I'm very confident in uh, myself, my skills, and uh, my managers and my trainers and what they've helped me. Uh, so we're going to be more than ready for the fight. You're one and one. How long have you trained for? For this fight or for? Just in general. I've been training for about a year and a half to two years. Okay. So uh, one and one, and I have the one Muay Thai fight also, so I, I think I'm going to be more than ready. So does it give you, is there actually confidence, you know, since you've been around the sport, and it's a short time, but a year and a half, two years, when you're going against a guy who is making the transition at the age of 47? I mean, can you actually go in? I mean, you have to respect him because he's an athlete, but can you actually go in and go, Really, he's, Herschel Walker's a football player, but he's not a mixed martial artist. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going in there with the preconceived notion that I'm fighting Herschel Walker. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just another opponent for me. So uh, I'm not really going in there with uh, thinking of who I'm fighting at, rather than uh, I have a fight. Yeah. So there's a slight difference there. So what kind of fighting style do I have? Yeah. Uh, probably just freestyle. You know, I'm not not too. Uh, not too heavy in one area or the other, but, you know, we practice boxing, we practice Muay Thai, we practice jiu-jitsu and wrestling. So uh, I'd like to consider myself well-rounded, but I'm probably more of a freestyle fighter than anything. Yeah. So you're, uh, you have, a, like, a wry smile on your face. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, say a month ago, you're, you're doing interviews now for Yahoo, for whatever, uh, you know, newspapers locally. You're going to be on Showtime. It, this is pretty nuts. It is. It's it's a very big opportunity. Like I said, um, I, I'm just trying to stay, stay grounded, not get too caught up in the moment because, uh, you know, ultimately I'm not here for the show. I'm here for the fight. So, uh, you know, everyone else can be here for, for the show and for the entertainment aspect. I'm here to work. All right. Your family's reaction? Because uh, most families have a real strong reaction to just getting in fighting or getting into fighting in general. Um, now they get to see you. This isn't a, you know, a DVD that you send home. They're going to get to see you on Showtime. 
Uh, they're, they're all very excited and supportive of me. Everyone is. Uh, you know, nobody really told me that uh, I shouldn't do it. They realize the opportunity I've been given, and uh, you know, I've dreamt about this for quite some time. So they're all very, very supportive. It's pretty nuts. So you, we mentioned that you played football in high school. Yes, sir. Um, Herschel's, you know, and that's why I was joking. Like, as a football fan, say, when you were 12 or 14 years old, actually kind of Herschel was almost on his way out. And that's how, that's, that's how long ago Herschel played. Yeah, Herschel did play. Uh, I don't really recall him too much from my youth. Uh, you know, the guys I really remember were uh, Barry Sanders, probably the biggest name. Um, I know, obviously, who Herschel Walker is, but it's not like anything where uh, I sat in front of the TV on Sundays and watched him. Yeah. Have you had a chance to meet him yet? Uh, no, not personally. I've seen him passing by, but, um, you know, we haven't had the chance to meet yet. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. How, how big are you? Because they said he's, uh, he's going to come in probably about 220 pounds. Probably going to be about a little bit under that, maybe about 215 or so. Should have a, a little bit of a height advantage on him, about 6'3", so we'll see how that plays out. Good deal. No weight cutting. You get to eat, you know, yeah. within reason, so yeah, that's I got, cool. I got to eat. I was actually on my way to uh, cutting to 185 when I got the call for this fight, so I guess I had to stay where I'm at. But, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm confident that I could uh, compete at 215 right now, so we'll see what happens. Do you have? Is there any rhyme or reason how they could actually make odds on this fight with you guys? There actually are betting odds on this, and they have Herschel as like a five to one favorite. And I was like, based on what? Uh, I have heard that they had uh, the odds out. I didn't know what they were until someone told me. But um, my guess, I guess, would be uh, is that they're basing the odds off of his celebrity. Yeah. So, but uh, that's that's fine by me. I really don't care either way. And actually, you're right. That's what they are basing it on because betting for people who follow betting is based on the two-way action and really not on who's going to win the fight but where the action's going to go. So you need to have a bigger name. But you know what? After this fight, hopefully I'll get that. Hopefully I'll get that after this fight. We'll see what happens. Looking to make a name for myself.